Good morning. Paul and Pauline here down in the park. And it's a lovely still morning. Not too cold. But we're bringing a reading out of Isaiah this morning, so that's not in the Gideon Bible. It's only a little pocket knife. Um, but we're reading about Isaiah's commission. And from Isaiah 6, Pauline's going to start it. In the year that King Zia died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling out to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and the thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar, and with it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin is atoned for. What a great story. Isaiah, the great prophet, lived 700 years before Jesus, and he had a manifested uh, appearance of the Lord with that vision. And he was humbled. He said, Oh, I am unworthy. My lips are unclean. For I'm ruined, a man of unclean lips, he said. I live among people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. He had this manifestation of the Lord appearing before him, and he felt so humble by that. But the Lord healed him as they came with a hot coal and touched his lips, and his sins were taken away. Hallelujah. It goes on, it says, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Be ever hearing, but never understanding. Be ever seeing, but never perceiving. Make the heart of this people calloused. Make their ears dull, and close their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes and hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. So he was telling Isaiah, look, they can be unrepentant and not get healed, but those who are seeing and hearing will be healed if they recognize the Lord. And earlier in Isaiah 60, from verse 1, he said this, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the people, but the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appeal, appears over you. So he's, he's recognizing that the world around us is in darkness, and they're just following other gods, they're following themselves and their own desires. But when the Lord rises upon us, we are transformed into his image. So important that we listen and that we hear and that we watch and keep awake, awake and know that the Lord is available for all of us. Very available. And all we need to do is call upon his name and we will be saved. The seraphim will fly down with the hot coal and cleanse our lips and help us be transformed. The Holy Spirit will be in us as we turn our lives over to Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a word for today. You get into the word. And let the word of God get into you. We'll see you another time, another place. Bye for now. See you.